operations and composition all right so it's kind of like we're gonna use two or three two uh, functions and compose them together mix them mash them together so thought I'd start with mixing two of my favorite things we got you know uh, Mickey Mouse with Darth Vader all right compose put them together there you have it. so here we go operations on functions first thing we're right off the, the bat let's see what we got here so if I want to add two functions, it's just as easy as you would think. So my new function, h of x, is when I add f of x, and f of x is negative 4x, and I add that together with g of x, which is 2x plus 4. All right? So now I just combine. Can I combine anything? Negative 4 and 2 is negative 2x plus 4. So h of x, the combination of adding them two together, gives me negative 2x plus 4. Subtraction, very similar. So my new function, h of x, is going to be my f of x, negative 4x, minus, now I'm going to put this in parentheses because I'm subtracting the whole thing, all right, 2x plus 4. The big deal here is this is like I'm distributing a negative 1. That's why I put the parentheses around it. A lot of kids forget that, and that's where their mistakes happen. So negative 4x, so negative, uh, negative 1 times 2, that's negative 2x. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So now my h of x, my combination where I subtract f of x minus g of x gives me negative 6x minus 4. And there you have it. All right, not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's take a look down here. Now we're going to multiply. So h of x, I'm going to multiply my f of x, which we know is negative 4x, times my g of x, which is 2x plus 4. So I come down here, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, x times x, well I add exponents, 1 plus 1 is x squared. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16, and I only have 1x. So right there, we are done. When I perform the multiplication operation on these two functions, I get negative 8x squared minus 16x. And last but not least, let's look at division. So when I divide, I have my f of x again, which is negative 4x, divided by my 2x plus 4. And really, we're done right there. All right, so a power function. What is a power function? It's any function in the form of y equals ax to the b, where a is a real number and b is a rational number. So rational, you know, 2, 3, 4, 1 half, all right? So here we have two power functions. We have f of x and g of x. So we're going to do the same operations we've already done. All right, down here, so adding 4x to the 1 half plus g of x, negative 9x to the 1 half. Now we have to remember, to combine like terms, you have to add the same variable, check, to the same power, check. So 4 plus negative 9 is negative 5x to the 1 half. All right, over here, same thing, subtract, 4x to the 1 half, minus negative 9x to the 1 half, minus a negative, that's gonna be plus, right? So that's 13x to the one-half. All right, so this time we're going to multiply. We have a new f of x and g of x. So f of x is 6x times x to the three-fourths. All right, remember when we multiply exponents, that's an exponent of one, we actually add the exponents. When we're multiplying the same base, add the exponents. So six times one is six. One plus three-fourths, well, one is like four over four, right? So 4 plus 3 is 7 over 4. So 6x to the 7 over 4. Over here we have 6x divided by x to the 3 fourths. Again, 6 divided by 1 is 6. 1 minus 3 fourths is 1 fourth, so it's x to the 1 fourth. All right, there you have it. Just simplifying a little bit more. All right, the composition of a function. 
it's h of x, a new function, and what we do is we put the other function in for the x. And it's read g of f of x. It's read g of f of x. That's a lot, that's a lot to think, all right? But essentially, I'm putting whatever's in here into my other function. All right, let's take a look. Let's do some with numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is before I get to g, I need to find out what is f of 5. Well, here's my f of x, so I want to find out what f of 5 is. Well, f of 5 is 3 times 5 minus 8. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. So f of 5 is 7. So now wherever I see this f of x, I'm going to put in my g, I'm going to put 7. So g of f of 5, wherever I see my x in this one, what am I going to put? 7. 2 times my x, in this case my x is 7. 2 times 7 squared is 49. So that is 98. So g of f of 5 is 98. Over here you'd think... You know, right off the bat, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but it's a little bit different. In this case, I want to find out what f of g of 5 is. So it's just a little bit different. I have to find g of 5 first. So I find g of 5. So it's 2 times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, so I have 2 times 25. So g of 5 is 50. All right? Plug that in. So now I have f of g of 5. So I'm going to plug in 50 into my f of x. So 3 times 50 minus 8. So my g, uh, that's 150 minus 8. So my g of f of 5, or my f of g of 5, excuse me, is 142. All right. Why don't you try example number 7 all on your own? So check it out. The first thing we have to plug in is 5 for f of 5. I do the work. I get 7. Now I'm plugging in 7 to my f function. It's a little weird. It's going in the same exact function. 3 times 7 minus 8, and we get 13. All right? See what happens when we do a little composition of functions here. Ooh, we have Miley Cyrus and com uh, with the composition of Mr. Kelly and ooh, get lowered. That's not pretty. All right? Just when you couldn't get any worse. So let's try this one. Now we're going to do it without numbers. We're going to compose these functions just with the functions. All right, so wherever I see my x, I'm going to put this entire function. So I'm going to put, so I have f of g of x. All right, and that really is f of, and what is my g of x? 5x minus 2. So let's see. What's my f? 4. And then I have my x to the negative 1. And I know on my x I'm going to put my g, which is 5x minus 2. All right? Now, can I distribute that? No, because that exponent. What can I do with that exponent? Well, that exponent tells me that whole thing wants to go to the bottom of the fraction. The 4 stays. So f of g of x is now the function 4 divided by 5x minus 2. Let's try this one. All right, g of f of x. So wherever I see my x, I'm going to plug in 4x to the negative 1. So g of f of x equals 5 times my x minus 2. And what is my x in this case? It's f of x, which is 4x to the negative 1. So I have to multiply 5 times 4 is 20x to the negative 1 minus 2. We don't like negative exponents, so the 20 stays because it's a positive exponent, but the x goes to the bottom. All right? So we take a function and put it in to another function. A little bit fancy. All right, what happens when we compose these two guys? We have Gary Busey, famous actor, and Mr. Bean. What happens? Oh, we get the crazy eyes of Bean and the craziness of Gary Busey. Gary Busey, if you don't know, he is way out there, man. That guy is crazy. All right, let's take a look at this next one. 
find f of g of x. So wherever I have my f of x, that's what I'm going to start with. So wherever I see x, I'm going to put in 3x minus 1. I think sometimes it's easy just to start like this. I'm going to put in blank. So I'm going to do x squared plus 3 times x. Now my x again is g of x. So 3x minus 1 goes here. So 3x minus 1 and 3x minus 1. Now a common mistake I see a lot of you make is you just do 1 squared and 3x squared. That's not what this means. This is 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. Remember when you square something you multiply it that many times. I'm going to distribute here. That's 9x minus 3. So I got to multiply 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. Negative 3x here and then negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1 plus 9x minus 3. So f of g of x all right, equals 9x squared, just combining like terms, negative 3x minus 3x, that's negative 6x, plus 9x, that is positive 3x, and then 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So f of g of x equals 9x squared minus 2, all right? All right, so let's do number 12 here. So I'm going to, this time I'm going to compose it with itself. So I know my function is x squared. I'm going to leave that blank, x squared, plus 3 times x, whatever I put in here. All right, so now I know what I'm putting in, again, is x squared plus 3x. It's a little weird. It's the exact same thing, but on top and composed with itself. All right. So down here, we have this is x squared plus 3x times x squared plus 3x. I'm going to distribute this, 3x squared plus 9x. x squared times x squared, that's x to the fourth. x squared times 3x is 3x to the third. 3x times x squared is 3x to the third. And then 3x times 3x is 9x squared. All right, now we just have to do some combining. We got no four, we got no other fourth. So we have x to the fourth plus one, two. Okay, so we have six x to the third, and then we have twelve x squared plus nine x. So when I compose f with itself, we have x to the fourth plus six x to the third plus twelve x squared plus nine x. So right now I want you to try. 11 and 13 all by yourself and then we'll then see how you did. So in this one we have 3 and our x this time we're putting in the function f of x so I put in x squared plus 3x minus 1. I distributed I got 3x squared plus 9x minus 1. There was no like term so it wasn't that big of a deal. Down here number 13 I'm composing it with itself so 3 times 3x minus 1 minus 1 9x minus 3 minus 1 and I get 9x minus 4. All right, so let's can do this. We have Pee Wee Herman and we have Mr. Bruss. We combine those. Pee Wee Herman had a, a children's show years ago when Mr. Bruss was in school. So let's see. He's his idol. I know that. What happens when you combine the two of them together? Oh, you get Bowtie Brust, right? So you get Bowtie Brust, and it's basically just the same guy. It's the incarnation of Pee Wee Herman and Mr. Bruss combined. Way to go, Mr. Bruss. So pause the video right now, try these all on your own, see how you do. All right, so this first one you are subtracting. The big thing here is you have to remember you're subtracting the whole function here, which means you have to distribute a negative to the negative 4 and a negative 5. Combine these like terms, you get negative 6x. Over here we're multiplying negative x squared minus 2x times 4x plus 5. So we have to double distribute these terms and then combine the like terms in the middle. Down here to find g of f of negative 4, we had to find f of negative 4 first. Plug that in. Now here's a trick. Negative 4 squared is a positive 16. Because this negative is on the outside, it becomes negative 16 plus 8, which is negative 8. Then you have to find g of negative 8. So 4 times negative 8 plus 5. Negative 32 plus 5 equals negative 27. Let's do this one together. f of g of x. Equals. So I'm going to use my f function, so negative x squared minus 2 times x. Now what is my x this time? Well, it's g of x. So wherever I see x, I'm going to put in 4x plus 5. So 4x plus 5 here, and 4x plus 5 
here. So this again, I'm not I'm leaving this negative on the outside. I'm doing 4x plus 5 times 4x plus 5. Whatever I get here, I'm gonna do multiply everything by negative 1 minus 8x minus 10. I just distributed. So now I have negative 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x times 5 is 20x. 5 times 4x is 20x. 5 times 5 is 25 minus 8x minus 10. So negative, uh, so it's going to be negative 16x squared. These are like terms, that's 40, so negative 40x minus 25 minus 8x minus 10. Last but not least, combine some like terms. So we have negative 16x squared minus 48x minus 35. There you have it. All right. So here's one of my other favorite commercials from Saturday Night Live. It's a fake commercial, just so you know. Uh, be good, and I'll see you on the flip side. I needed to take the bus, but all I had was a $5 bill. I went to First Citywide, and they were able to give me four singles and four quarters. We will work with the customer to give that customer the change that he or she needs. If you come to us with a $20 bill, we can give you two tens. We can give you four fives. We can give you a 10 and two fives. We will work with you. I went to my first citywide branch to change a 50. I guess I was in kind of a hurry. I asked for a 20, a 10, and two fives. Well, the computers picked up my mistake right away, and I got the correct change. We've been in this business a long time. With our experience, we're going to have ideas for change combinations that probably haven't occurred to you. If you have a $50 bill, we can give you 50 singles. We can give you 49 singles and 10 dimes. We can give you 25 twos. Come talk to us. We are not going to give you change that you don't want. If you come to us with a $100 bill, we're not going to give you 2,000 nickels unless that meets your particular change needs. We will give you the change equal to the amount of money that you want change for. That's what we do.